Hello, welcome to Barefoot in America. My name is Kathy Kessler and I'm coming to you from Merino Beach um, on Paris Lake in California. And we're gonna do a yin restorative yoga practice now. You may have done my previous active vinyasa flow. This is a great compliment if you wanna do a two-part practice, but this can stand alone. So I'm gonna invite you to just have a strap. If you have the long one, make it in a giant loop. If you don't have a long one and want one, reach out to me. We will get you one or I'll tell you where you can get it. It's a 10 foot yoga strap and then a yoga block. And I'm gonna invite you to put a yoga block under your tush right now. When we sit on a yoga block, it just helps us get a little more length in our spine, opens the hips in another way. So starting in seated meditation, Sukhasana or any variation of easy cross-legged posture that works for you. Palms could be up on your lap or palms down. Take a moment to feel yourself sitting here. Feel yourself in the room that you're in. Take in all the surroundings. Take in all the sounds the experience of this room that has become your yoga studio today. And taking that moment to be grateful for the space. And shifting the channel now. Feel your own physical body. How your hips are rooting to your yoga mat or your block. Or maybe you've chosen to sit on a pile of blankets. Take a moment to feel your sits bones and how they root you to the earth. And as you root your sits bones, the length in your spine, a gentle tuck of the chin. Feel your hands resting on your lap, relaxing your shoulders. Where you're upright and tall, but still soft and supple. And from this physical body you can perceive, go a little deeper. Go inside. Feel your heart space. Feel the skeleton that holds you upright with the fascia, the muscle. Notice any tension, maybe relax your jaw, relax your eyebrow. Soften while remaining upright. And switching channels, observe your mind. Maybe there's the chatter of 10,000 things. And maybe there's one prevalent thought that keeps coming through your mind. Or maybe you can just let it all go. Notice without judgment, just notice where you are today. That's where you're going to meet yourself in this very, very moment. So be with whatever the mind is sharing with you right now. Be like a friend to your own mind. And shifting channels, connect with your breath. Observe it first. Nothing yogic to do with it, nothing to fix. Just notice the breath and how it flows in and out of your body just so naturally with ease. And then maybe take a moment to broaden the breath, lengthen the inhale. Take a pause at the end of the inhale and softly let it go with an exhale. Taking that subtle pause, inhaling one, two, three, Four, pause, exhaling, one, two, three, four, pause, inhale, one, two, three, four, pause, exhale, one, two, three, four, pause. And shifting channels one more time. Just be the observer of yourself sitting here. Bring your hands to your heart center.
connecting with that most deepest radiant part of you and allow yourself to set an intention for your yoga practice. Release the arms and just notice this meditative state you've created. We're going to stack the knees. Right leg on the bottom, left knee goes on top. Same position as Gomu Kuasana, cow face posture, but we're going to take it into shoelace. So lengthen your spine, hinge from your hips, bow forward. We're going to stay here for the next three minutes or so. Just let yourself bow into it. Let the head go. Feel the deep, deep stretch in your hips and glutes. Fingers could be out in front of you to help support you or underneath you. Let your arms settle where they feel good. We're just resting in this shape, giving ourselves time to fold, to create a deep stretch in our left hip. And the thing about doing yin yoga, restorative yoga, and incorporating the concepts of myofascial release is you don't have to stay totally still. If you want to kind of lean one way to get a little deeper, lean another way to soften it a little bit, take the time to find your edges. Melting into the shape. Letting the tissue expand and soften. Nothing to do but simply rest there at the edge. And with time, maybe it lets go. Maybe something that's been holding on has the time to shift and change. The tightness, the tension has the time to start to melt and soften. Going from that solidified state to a more flowing, gelatinous state. Nutrition, hydration, consciousness flowing through those parts of you that you're releasing. And just make little adaptations as you hold it. yourself just a handful of deep cleansing breaths yet in this shape. Making those uh, subtle, subtle adjustments. Feeling the most minute shift. And ever so gently, starting to come back out of it. Walk your hands up. Feel your legs, feel your body. Open the legs. Just take a moment there. And then changing the stack of your legs, your left leg on the bottom. Your right knee stacks on top. Lengthen your spine, settle into your buttocks. And start to hinge forward. Walk your hands forward. Bow your head towards your legs. And feel the edge on this side as you melt. As you hang out at your personal edge. Know where you need to be. It doesn't need to look like my shape. And even if you can't stack the knees, starting from an easy cross-legged posture is perfect. All of us have different abilities in our hips and knees. And we'll never know our potential unless we show up and keep practicing. So yoga is about connecting and meeting yourself right where you are. 
finding your edge, honoring the limits there, seeing your potential, showing up, practicing, and seeing where it takes you with time. And be with your breath. As you inhale deeply, the whole torso expands. And as you exhale completely, you can melt and soften into the shape. The breath giving our mind something to focus upon. Reducing the chatter. Reducing that perseverating thought. Bringing us fully into the moment of now as we breathe. Tracing our breath as we inhale from the beginning, the middle, the top of the breath. And as we exhale, feeling the beginning, the middle, the bottom of the breath. Follow your breath with your mind's eye. Feel all the parts. Notice as you melt with your breath, you can surrender into the shape a little more. If you stay with a full deep breath, you will never harm yourself. It's when we start trying too hard that we start to hold our breath. So allow the breath to be your guide, one of the key components of the yoga practice, pranayama. Getting the prana to flow through our bodies, vitality and energy coursing through us, and using these yin shapes to open the meridians, the channels. Just another breath or two in this forward fold. As we're approaching the three minutes. And as you're ready, start to walk your hands back up. Sit up tall, straighten the legs, and we're going to go to lying down on our backs. Just lie on your back, take the pause and savasana. We're going to use the strap for a hamstring stretch. Spending about three minutes on each side. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Take that beautiful volcano stretch. Mm. Give your right leg a hug and hook the strap to the bottom of your right foot. Send the right foot skyward. If you have a regular strap, you'll just stay here. If you have the long strap, you can hook it under your back and make it so that you can reach the tail to snug the strap up so that you don't have to use your arms. And if you're using the long strap, you can now keep the strap in your upper back. Take your arms in a T, a cactus, overhead, anything that would give you a comfortable stretch as we stay here for approximately three minutes. And as you rest, maybe you can notice your left leg, the heel on the ground, toes and kneecap to the sky. And simultaneously notice the right leg pressing into the strap, heel growing long to the sky. The knee doesn't necessarily have to be straight if the hamstrings are really tight. I've even seen people hook their arms under the strap to hold it when the knee is really tight and it can't straighten. So meet yourself at your edge there and see if you can expand your toes. Try your toes towards your nose, enhancing the experience. Slow, steady breaths.
Remember, it doesn't have to stay completely still. If your body's wanting to move, follow that flow, the unraveling, the unwinding, the body seeking out a position in space. My leg likes to drift inward just ever so subtly here, opening the outer hip and thigh a little more. Feel your own unique experience in your own beautiful, unique body. And here's where we make the transition. Just gently bend your right knee to your chest. Unhook the strap, lower the right leg down. Take the pause in Savasana. Just notice the change you've experienced in your right leg and not yet your left. Inhale the arms overhead. Take that juicy, good stretch. Let it feel good, expanding into your skin, letting your essence just fill you. Giving your left leg a hug, hooking the strap to the bottom of your left foot, sending left foot skyward. Making sure the strap is still in your upper back, snugging it if you need to at all. Holding it with your hands if you don't have the long strap. Arms wherever you choose. And even if you don't have the long strap, you could keep both tails of the strap in the left arm. Take your right arm overhead or in a cactus, creating that shoulder opening there. And just settle into the shape. Right heel is on the floor. Toes and kneecap point to the sky. Left leg is growing to the sky in the strap. Heel pressing skyward. Space between your toes. Slow, deep breaths. Just melting into this shape. And if it doesn't feel like melting, feel that tug, that stretch that pulling and just hold it and see with time if it can soften, if it can change. Let it feel good. And again, making any micro adjustments you need to. Hmm. Feel the shape within your body. Breath flowing in and out of your body. Fully present. Fully centered. Grounded to the earth. And spacious to infinite possibilities. Just a few more breaths as we start to transition, giving the left leg a hug, remove the strap completely, find your way to Savasana, 
And just to settle in, take your arms over your head one last time. Exhale, give both knees a hug. Wiggle, shimmy, shake. Do what you need to do to feel grounded and centered. Lower the legs. Arms drift from your body. Final resting posture. Feel yourself resting on your mat. Be with that observer part of you. Observe yourself lying here. Letting the breath be natural. Letting the body just melt into the earth. And give yourself the time to stay in Savasana for a little bit longer. Feel the prana flowing through your body. Feel the sweet, sweet surrender. And I thank you for joining me for the opening meditation and the yin postures. Just taking the time to feel into our bodies, letting go, creating more space. A place of divine light and truth in me honors the place of divine light and truth in you, where we are all one. Namaste.